Hey guys, Cody Ball 3 here, and welcome to episode 55 of the Real Adele. And I want to give a quick shout out to my new coin sponsor, FootcoinEmporium.com. And you guys have always been getting on to me about finding the cheapest possible coin website so you guys can get the best deals. And that's exactly what I've done. They are definitely the cheapest site out there. I've also set up a discount code, Cody Ball 3, with them. So if you use that discount code on their site, you'll get 10% off all orders. So go check out their website in the description below if you want cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Anyways, we just jumping in this episode by taking a look at our watches and realizing that Iniesta and Aguero are still frozen in there. It's been a month and EA still have not sorted out that glitch and I've still got them two players stuck in my watch list. It is a bit annoying but at least it's only two players. I've heard stories of guys having 20 plus players just glitched in their watches which is really unfortunate but we did make a couple of signings to the team because we needed to and I definitely had to freshen up the midfield because I found that Modric and Kaka and uh, Mesut Utsal, it was just getting all too stale in there. It was the same players and it just wasn't working for me. So I decided to pick up Isco. I got him for 1k. I had to put a cam to CM card on him, which cost me 5k as well. But it wasn't all that bad of a deal. I also got Ilera Mendy as well, the silver Real Madrid player. But I said I'd leave him out of the team for this next game because it is actually quite an important game. So I'm only going to try out Isco for this game. It is indeed the last game of the Division 1. I suppose uh, if I want to win the title, I need to win this game. I'm on 19 points and I need 21 points. You can see before your very eyes. So it's a must win game. So I said I'll try out Ilera Mendy when the stakes aren't as high as they are right now. So I jumped straight into the game and I came up against a guy who had a pretty solid team. It must be said. Uh, he's got some good players in there obviously like Hazard, Luck, Remy and Ben Arfa lead his attacking line. He's also got uh, Santi Cazorla and uh, Sissoko and David Silva in there in the midfield. So quite a good team and he does indeed open the score and some of the goals he scored were absolutely incredible. This being one of them. Look at that first strike and to be honest I'm really getting sick of having Iker Casillas and goals. I just don't think he's doing it for me whatsoever. I'm probably gonna go back to uh, my man Diego Lopez because Iker Casillas no, he's just letting in far too many goals. He's so poor from corners as well. And I just, to be honest, he's definitely not uh, what his rating, I suppose, says in foot. And a lot of you guys do agree with me and say that Casillas isn't all that great. But I do grab a equalizer here. And with only about 10 minutes left, could I grab an equalizer? No, I could not. And the game ended 2 all, and I was so agonizingly close to winning the championship once again. Well, the Division 1 title. One point off. That's been, I think, the second or third time that I've done that, which is a bit unfortunate. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make the biggest sign in today because that's exactly what I need if I'm going to mount a serious, uh, I suppose, divisional uh, title claim. And uh, that's exactly what i done. I picked up none other than Inform Benzema into the team. And look at that. He is just so player so many of you guys have been saying just get informed Benzema he's probably one of the best players in the game 88 rated I picked him up for 324,000 which was quite expensive but uh, hey his cheapest buy now at the moment is around 360k so I suppose if I listed him I could possibly get about that but hey I'm buying him because I want to play him and I want him in the team so that's our new look attack line with informed Di Maria, informed Benzema and Ronaldo so you know what I shouldn't be losing any games and I said I'd give the gold cup a run because uh, I just wanted to switch it up I didn't want to be playing division games all the time and I came up against a guy who had a very very good team I, I found this team very hard to break down obviously he's got MNEK and Wellington up front the two pacey strikers Kaka sitting in just behind a lot of clever links in there. Ashley Young and Smalling. He's got Sacco and Menez, Kadira, Alonso. A lot of uh, same team, same nationality links. And Benzema in the second minute opens the scoring with a beautiful strike to open the score. And I was thinking, you know what? This is probably uh, money well spent on Benzema. But my opponent does hit back with an absolute wonder goal from Emenike. And uh, yeah, my keeper couldn't do much about that whatsoever. And this is when it got kind of, I suppose, pretty poor for me, it must be said. He crossed him with Emenike. And once again, he was just spamming the crosses. And I'm not one to complain all the time, I suppose, about FIFA, but this game did really annoy me. Another cross, another goal, and it just seems like my keeper was getting bet by everything. Fair enough, I was at fault for this. He did fool me uh, quite a bit, but at this point, my head was down, the morale was low, and I just wasn't playing my proper game. I did end up grabbing a goal back with Di Maria to make it 4-2. It was a lifeline, but unfortunately, he quenched any chance of me getting back into the game by doing one of them stupid set, uh, you know 
corners that, you know, you can pre-rearrange, all that stuff. And I did end up losing 5-2, which was very, very unfortunate. And I was eliminated from the Gold Cup in the first round. And I said, fuck this. I've had enough of playing FIFA for a while. I said, you know what? I'm going to go try trade. So I went. I put a load of bids in on some players. And, uh, yeah, it just uh, it didn't work out for me. You'll see that I got outbid on every single player that I tried to bid on. And the problem is that I'm finding is that every single player I'm bidding on is getting bid up right to their market value. So there's literally no profit to be made whatsoever. And the market is so dead because there's not half as much cards up that I'm finding trading really hard now. I suppose you guys will be fighting, uh, finding trading uh, quite hard at the moment too. Let me know down in the description below how you're finding uh, trading, I suppose. And what you want me to do next in the series? You want me just to keep picking up uh, some players or do you want me just to jump straight in and try to get maybe an inform Ronaldo or maybe even do some wager matches? What would you like to see me do with the series? Because obviously trading isn't going the way it should be. I'm going to try again tonight to do some more trading, but uh, I can't make any promises or guarantees. I did end up selling on my normal Benzema for just under 12k. But that is it for this episode, uh, guys. Once again, if you want to buy uh, some uh, FIFA coins, uh, go check out Footcoin Import com. They are your one-stop shop for cheap FIFA coins. And that is it for me. I will see all you mofos next time. And a half thousand after we sold them off for 28 and a half K. Ramos sold on for 68 and a half K, giving us a profit of just over 3K. And the big one, obviously, there was Van Percy, who we sold on for 619,000. And that gave us a profit of 23 